It's no advisory, man. It's your boy, Petty P, the creative fact totem with the scrotum with my co-host here. My yes, ghost. it's chocolate underscore diamond, also known as Shy, a.k.a. the best BBW in America. The best. Okay. The best. You see it. Oh, with damn. my beautiful. Okay. Because they got all these long ass drawn out intros. I'm going to just hit you with one time. One time. You got a logo and shit. You got a verbal logo. One time. <laughs> one time. Oh shit. And the hey. board is walking in the door, okay. man. Okay. This is motherfucking Charlotte Latin's. Fucking finest right here, Hall of Famer. My man, what's, what's going up? on, B? Hey, what's up, Petty P, Doc? Yo. Hello, hello, I'm shy. Where that? Where that? Y'all move that. Y'all move that up. Yeah, dog, have a seat, man. You can, um, the Punch Boy. Yeah, the Punch Boy, you know what I mean? I don't know if you, I don't know if you in trouble. Pull him up, man. Pull him up. Yeah, no, he, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he with it. Oh, he with it. Oh, he with it. 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 I ain't really get a chance to give you like that proper introduction, dog. But dog, sorry, you man. you come in with you know several credentials, man. You Charlotte hometown, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Been all over the world, played all over the NBA, played with legends, greats, everything like that, man. We gonna insert applause on a damn on, <laughs> on the motherfucking oh, video, you yeah. know what I'm saying? For sure, dog. We, we glad to have you here, man. Thank you, man. I've been checking y'all out, man. I was like. I'm about to pull up on them, see what they talking about. It yeah, looks fun, man. man. So, yeah, I'm glad to be here for real. All day, bro. Glad to All have day. you. Glad to have you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm saying. So, you know, obviously, you done did several, several interviews. You know, they ask you all sorts of questions. Um, you know, some, a lot of the questions be the same. You know, nobody. We, we kind of pride ourselves on digging a little bit deeper. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I watched some interviews. I did my research. I was on my. At McLean, B. Yeah. I was on, you don't know this boy right here. He's a research specialist right there. That dude right there with the yeah. white shirt. My man goes in. So I was doing all on my Aunt McLean. I seen, you know, he went to Georgia Tech, obviously graduated, you know, from Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Latin. But it was a little situation. You was in South Mac first, yeah. right? And yeah. your mom took you out of school because it wasn't the right situation. Expand yeah. on that. It was just the Mac Charlotte Mecklenburg school system. It ain't no secret. Everybody know it's terrible. I've been vocal about that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, you know, it, it even, you know, with my kids, my kids go to school in Union County, man. Yeah. It's a huge, mm -hmm. huge dis difference, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. But my mom just didn't like the direction it was going. Yeah. And I think now everybody really seeing it. And before it was like it wasn't really a light shine on how bad it was. Yeah. You know. And, you know, I she just took me out took a chance on Charlotte Latin, you know what I'm saying? And it was a big difference for me because I was still like on the west side, like living with all my friends and yeah. family. But then I was going to school at Latin, it was 97% white, 3% other. So right. they ain't even counting, like that's right. counting every, like right. ain't right. just black people, you that's know what I'm saying? Asians and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah everything. <laughs> like, so it was, it, was a, it was a little bit of a culture shock, but it helped me though. It helped me socially as I got older. Like yeah. going to Georgia Tech, Playing the league, like it helped me be able to be in different rooms with different people. Around it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and still be myself without right. having to, you know what I'm saying? Feel like I gotta change or compromise. A lot of dudes struggle with that when you come from the projects and have to be in these rooms with people or play on these teams with people, mm -hmm. different cultures and different races. People struggle with that. It's a real thing. It don't get talked about enough, but. Yeah, that was just uh, a shout out to my mama for that. Though. I always yeah, tell her. Yeah, dog. I always tell her that. I always was the black queen mama. So 10 years is a long time for any profession. Yes, ma'am. How did you adapt to the changes of the league throughout that 10 years span? Uh, man, really just having to, you know, kind of just adjust. It's a mm -hmm. different stuff. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, just uh, adjusting to different changes because you got to worry about. I went through a lockout, so you got to adjust. I had to adjust to that, you know, whether it was spending or I was saving before or how you're going to come out of it. Um, just the gameplay, basketball itself. Luckily, it changed in my direction. They started shooting more threes the longer mm -hmm. I was in the league. That kind of helped me probably yeah. spread a couple more years. Um, 
and then just like social issues like we see now mm -hmm. you know so a lot of that stuff man it's a lot and you know shout out to the to the gyms and the owners because not all of them do this but um the gyms and the owners that reach out to the players because the league 80 percent black mm -hmm. so you need to reach out to us to for us to like check on us we ain't all right like mm -hmm. we just watch one of our people get killed in cold blood by yeah. a police officer mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so this just different like different like stuff like that that we that you that you just kind of got to deal with having kids you know what i'm saying just different stuff but really just staying grounded you know what i'm saying i ain't i, I, I always kind of pride myself on you know what i mean pray and grind and just try to stay around the same people you know what i mean have you had a a, a damn that shit crazy moment like right, looking at one? the league right now versus when you first came in like damn that shit crazy uh, shit, this shit right here, this COVID <laughs> shit. Right this shit. Yeah, they're in the bubble right now. Yeah, so I, I, they're in the bubble, so I see, you know, how do you feel about them being in that, that bubble? I, I mean, uh, more people going to test positive for it that's in the bubble, but I think overall, it's, I mean, I, of course, we don't want to see nobody get sick. Overall, though, we're talking about less than 1% of all the tests that they're taking. Mm, we're talking sure. about world class athletes, like, God forbid, one of them boys, you know, got somebody caught it and they passed away, then we got to come back, like, shut everything mm -hmm. back down. Because it's it's not like people that, you know, with nobody that got pre existing conditions where they can't deal with it by being a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, it's, yeah, this is the crazy shit I was saying. I, I, told, I told my people, I was like, man, this is a good time to not be in the league. I ain't tripping right now. Like, I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm good. Like, you know. I seen that. I seen that dude. Uh, you had a uh, you had a previous interview. Uh, I, I was watching uh, with somebody, and um, it was like, yeah, well, former, and uh, or maybe not former. You was like, no, former dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good, good. Right. So it seems like you got that. You have you have put in. You put in what ten years? Yeah. Nine different teams. Seven. Different Seven different teams. teams. That right there, that was some some people will call that a journey. A lot of people, yeah. you know, don't see, see the amount of experience and the amount of 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 of, of uh, value that that has. You know, mm -hmm. you playing with all, you play with all the greats: mm -hmm. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Russell Russell Westbrook, uh, James Harden, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, Steph Curry. Steph of course, Curry. that one. That was the first one. Yeah. Talk about that. How was that when you there in Golden State? Because we all know what Golden State was before Steph got there. Yeah. That was some bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had the one year with Stephen Jackson. With that they, one they, year. They beat, uh, they, they beat the number one seed, the Mavericks. Yeah. And then, you know, after that, you know, all them dudes was kind of older. So that was it. They had Joe Smith. Yeah. They had so you know what I'm saying? That was, yeah, that's the old school. Yeah. You was there. You mm -hmm. you came out, you was balling, then they brought Steph on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You went undrafted 2008. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that transition to kind of see knowing that you and Steph come from the same area, y'all both from Charlotte. Y'all yeah. played each other, you know, as as you know, in, in some of these leagues, him being a year younger, whatever the case may be, but knowing he had the pedigree and you coming out, bring get matched out the mud, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. How was the relationship while y'all was at Golden State? It was great, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man, like, for real. Because I don't know, you know, he even said in the interview how he felt like it was, it kind of put a little bit more peace that I was there just because we grew up playing AAU, the high school was rivals playing against each other. We always kept a, a strong relationship, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, even though he was drafted, I know what he had to deal with. Right. So a lot of people saw that Davidson run. Right. He went to private school. Yeah. He played uh -huh. the league. I'm like, he wasn't too. He oh. wasn't. He wasn't big when he was coming out. His he jersey to, was baggy. He had to go through some <laughs> shit to get what he. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because yes, he sir. had to deal with his dad's shadow. Yeah. And he had to deal with being his dad's son. Yeah. Small, undersized. He could always shoot. But I think like he was one of the guys that called a late bloom off. Everything came together, skill level, size, mm -hmm. handle, jump shot, like everything came together at the right time, time. And yeah. we see who he is now. Yeah. But it was a grind though. It was a grind for him. You know, our, our grinds was different, but I respect his though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Did you uh, like personally on a sidebar note? We all right. So you was there when Katie left Oklahoma yeah. City, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was you like? Was it like? Damn, nigga, you got this here with this nigga Russell? Or was it like, oh, that's a blessing? Nah, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, no, it wasn't that. It was more like, I remember where I was at on the phone, July 4th. Was you, where was you at? Was you here, I was Sean? on 485 driving back to my house. And I seen it on Bleach Report. Kevin Durant joins mm -hmm. the Warriors. And I was like, I was like, damn. Did you lose respect? 
No, I didn't. C come on, dog. A I little did. bit. No, listen. Because you know how it is, dog. You know how it is, right? If me and you go to the park, we got to be on separate teams. You know what I'm saying? Because we just that nice. You feel me? Yeah. I, That's yeah. I said it. it so, is, so, so you know what I'm saying? It's chess, not checkers. <laughs> not checkers. So right. You got to be strategic yeah. at all costs. But, but the competitors, you know, in us, because I, I play football. You know what I'm saying? I had yeah. my little cup of coffee at the NFL. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like you, you like, you, you're a competitor. You don't want to go... Unless you're getting paid to do it, unless you're going to be on a super team and you chasing the championship, you know what I'm saying? You don't really want to go on a team that already got them boys. You want to beat the dude to beat them boys. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, with him, it was bigger than that, though, because I was on the team. I was in the trenches with him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was bigger than basketball. Like, yeah. me and him, every city. We done probably been to every Hoover spot in every city just kicking. Me and him, his dad, his brother, like... His home, like, we was like that, you know what I mean? We never talked about free agency that year. Never talked about it. He would kind of make it, yeah, bring it up saying how he was excited to be the first time free agency teams coming after him, courting him and all that shit. Right. But he was, he never was like, I'm going here, I'm going here, you know what I mean? So when the time came, I kind of had a feeling he was going to leave because he had been in OKC for so long. And I feel like him and Russ had outgrew each other. Yeah. I don't think, it wasn't no real beef, but I think they outgrew each other. Right. And, I felt like he wanted to go somewhere where he was going to win immediately and have business shit going on. Right. So I was thinking like maybe like New LA. York or L.A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which would have been cool. Yeah. Because it had been before Brock got there. Yeah, it would have been before yeah, Brock got there. So he and Brock wouldn't have came there. Right. He wouldn't. Yeah. He would have never no. came. That would have no. changed history right they, there. Because on the low, they trying to, they, like it's competitive when it comes to the rings. Mm -hmm. Like KD would never go to L.A. to play with him because it's going to help yeah. him get another ring. Exactly. He always going to be one ring behind him. Is, yeah, is, is Carmelo <laughs> that got that same chip on his shoulder? He don't fuck with Brian either? Nah, 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 like they, like they, these dudes are all friends. But in terms of competitive nature, I don't know what Melo had at right now. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Melo, 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 nigga, Melo, you got to act like yes, like go on over there, nigga. He, he like at <laughs> different kind of level piece right now. You right. know what I'm saying? But I think, I, I salute him for getting back in the league and doing what he did because he deserved that. But nah, when I saw that shit he left, I, I, I texted him, I'm like, hey man, you know, Love you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, make the right decision for you and your family. But I ain't see you going to hell, bro. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was it's like, it's stunned. It's stunned. Like, yeah. Okay. But I knew I had to be, because I knew how Russ was going to take it. How Russ? He, I, I knew, I think bro, everybody I, in America knew Russ was going to take it hard. We was expecting no. to. He, he just mad. He get mad about little no, shit. No, he <laughs> was like, MJ, 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 MJ chip on the bad. show. Yeah, it just bad. motivated him. He was in the gym crazy that summer. Word. Came back, then he had that year he had. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. I mean, I would have thought, if I was you, I would have been like, oh, damn, K, my man's, you know, we've been doing all these things. They got had all these great experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, you could tell, kind of, I guess, at some sort, you probably knew he was kind of in the presence of, Somebody will like be something great, yeah. you know. Not to say that you didn't, but they think you was gonna be something great too. But you like, you know, when you rubbing elbows with a yeah, little yeah, motherfucker who sure. got it, you know what I mean? Sure. And so, and then at that point, you like, but damn, don't you leave me here? This nigga, I'd have been you. I'd have been like, oh shit, I'm about to get buckets then. No, no, okay, you just, just, just <laughs> nah, I'm shooting more, nigga. Yes. Motivation, motivation, <laughs> definitely motivation. Like, hey, yeah, absolutely. He was definitely on the mission, bro. <laughs> but I, it's hard, like, like I tell people, like, because everybody like, yo, he was selfish. I'm like, no, nah, man, he just. He got that tunnel vision that time, bro. Yeah, yeah. And it's part of his DNA. Like I tell, like I'm like, he ain't no point guard, bro. And he ain't no shooting guard. He a killer. You know what I'm saying? Like he just on your ass, yeah. like the whole game. Yeah. So you know. And sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was bad. But it is what it is. Well, my next question is a little segue from that. Is I noticed, um, and I mentioned to you that you spoke to the youth, and yeah. you spoke to my son. In particular, that was you. Yeah, that okay, was me. yeah, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So I was like, it's kind of ironic that you, you know, you know, spoke to his crew. Yeah. Which um, CMPD has a, a dope program where they're actually they actually paying the youth yeah. to come to their program, but it's like a summer camp, mm -hmm. and it um, teach them development skills. What message were you giving to the youth on that particular day? They asked some great questions. You know, they're asking about you know financial education and. You know what it's like when you're going off to college in the distance and you know shout out to everybody that was on the panel with me but mm -hmm. a lot of it was just about you know i was just telling about my experience in terms of um you know adversity and dealing with it, being away from home being away from your parents understanding the right crowd and the wrong crowd mm -hmm. um, 
and then just understanding like, you know, I was telling them about how the union worked in the NBA and the Players Association where the league versus the union and how it was clashing and then they got to work together on certain stuff. But the union was good for the league in terms of teaching people how to save money, invest money, mm -hmm. um, diversify your, your money, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like that 20, 25, 30 years ago in the NBA. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so they, you know, they had some great questions. Yeah, a lot of players going, going yeah. broke. Yeah, yeah. Um, my son is on that path where it's um, all about business, you know, starting businesses yeah. young and stuff like that. Yeah. So that is dope that you spoke to them. Yeah, about I told them that. Um, literacy. Yeah, I told them that too. I was like, y'all got the information highway in the palm of your hands. Don't just be on Instagram. You can start a company at 15 years old right. in a mm -hmm. phone on your phone now. Right, right. Like right. we used to have to right. go to the library, right. look up shit, look up, right. shit, look right. up words. Men <laughs> <laughs> yeah. don't know about yeah. encyclopedias. Yeah, right, right. right. And Britannica. Yeah. Don't forget about Britannica. Now look, right. now look on the internet. Mama right. got to use the phone. Got to get right. on the internet. You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. I'm That's like y'all got y'all got it in y'all hands right now. Too easy. So I'm finna switch gears a little bit, right? There's no advisor, so we gonna have to pick your brain. I wanna. Um, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glad to know. Okay. What you feel like about her. this entanglement bullshit that's going on? It's Ooh. hilarious, man. I need to know. Yeah, been entangled up. Yeah, yeah. he entangled right now. Yeah. He <laughs> entangled right now. entangled now. <laughs> You're really entangled, huh? You heard the song? No, nah, who? Uh, All the strong song Rick with Ross. Rick Ross called Entanglement. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> is it album? Is this album? It just came out like yeah, maybe 21 hours out. ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just came out like yesterday. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah I'm gonna I'm I'm go, I'm gonna download that. For sure. Entanglement. I, wait, yeah. <laughs> well, I need to know what you think about it. it was, you said it's funny. Why it's funny? Because, man, like, women, like. Oh. No, no, listen. No. Look, 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 look. Be free, dog. <laughs> hey, B, I got your back, dog. Hey, I, hey, I got your back, dog. Hey, I got your back, dog. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. That's the truth serum, so it's gonna come out. No, I think like like um I am, don't worry. I don't know if I first of all, no, we don't tread like that. That is the wrong advice. No, that is the wrong advice. I think I feel like like women, y'all are smarter than us in certain like in with with these kind of situations. Uh -huh. Will is her husband. Mm -hmm. So you saw how he reacted when she said that shit. Entanglement. He was he bothered. Said, Come on, man. He was That's acting. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. He but, was bothered. But the way she said that shit was so like not so convincing. Not. It was like it was a pimp. Like, I had to look it up. It is what it, that's exactly what their relationship was. It was an entanglement. Nigga, I wrote that shit down. Look, man, I just. Oh my God. <laughs> he got notes. I wrote it down. Yeah. Hey, look. That's I had to look it up. Shit. I haven't yeah. heard of my life. Nah, man. On some real shit, though, how I was feeling initially, I was like, if the tables was turned mm -hmm. and Will was, was fucking Willow's friend, it'd be a that was older. Campaign. Jesus Christ. It'd be a smear campaign. Cancel Will. Okay, so I never think about it like that. I never thought about it like that. Cancel Will. Prince of Bel-Air oh, off TV. I understand. No more men in black. Check this out. But check this out. Philly would just I start think, getting locked up at random. I think niggas really think that, 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 that Will Smith is Michael Lowry in real life. Like, he's just Will Smith. The difference I, is Will Smith and whoever he's fucking know how to keep their fucking mouth shut. Okay, that's good. They know how to keep their mouth shut. What they got to do with the entanglement. NDA. It has yeah. everything to do with it because we wouldn't even be talking about it if she had her hose in check. Okay, so yeah, first of all, first of all, okay. he fell okay. in love. That's, that's, that's rule just number one. Don't fall in love, and he fell in love. Who, he fell in love with that cougar pussy. Who was he? Yeah. Uh, August. August. Excuse he me. Fell August. Fell in love. August. <laughs> August. That's what oh, they call him. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. But <laughs> that does not excuse Dow's transgressions. That's all. I'm first, but, but wait. Mm -hmm. To your point. To your point, if it was the other way around, it'd be a smear campaign. Right. Yeah. They calling my girl Jada a predator right now. She is a predator. That is a smear campaign. No, that's not. A smear that's campaign. not. A, that's, she's not a predator. August came back out and said she's she's not a predator. It wasn't entangled. He said I loved her. He said you didn't want to be. You just wanted somebody to break your back. That's what August said. Come on, come on, come on. Let's okay. They got together. They Damn. both admitted, right? Yes. Girls, gotta go they both admitted yes. that August came to them sick. Yes. She admitted that the but sickness. I, okay, there's a but. Go ahead. So you know what I'm about to say, huh? 
Yes, I do. No, but let me sprinkle. A, let me sprinkle this. this, this, this let me salt bait the situation real quick. All right, all right. So, let, me, let me give you the steak. Let me, let me give you the steak. Yeah, all, yes, all, all I gave piece. you was a piece of bread. Okay. Uh, all right. Finish the sandwich. Finish the sandwich. Finish the sandwich. So I'm like, yo. She needed to feel good uh -huh. again. Okay, you know what I'm so, saying? Okay. She brought Monster she, Ball. Even Holly, oh, even okay. Holly was like, "Oh, this okay. is mine, damn!" Okay. <laughs> I ain't been doing nothing in years. They brought, she, I need to feel good. She felt good through helping hit, uh, uh, somebody who needed that help. Somebody who was downtrodden, uh -huh. who was helped, was uh -huh. failing. Downtrodden. Uh -huh. Downtrodden. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You like that okay. word? Yeah, me? It it's a common word. word. You feel me? Uh -huh. So <laughs> she, used, she used the shit. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Oh, she used it. Okay. She, yes, she okay. used his sickness and his, his dire need okay. as a segue uh -huh. to giving herself to him. I that is the so. part. I don't think so because remember. But Predator it's beat. a span of years. A lot of things can happen within those years. Yeah, it's called a relationship. <laughs> How, uh, first of all, first of all, first okay. of all. I mean, okay. I don't know if you came off the bridge before you uh, um, need a label. Hold on. How like, many years? Salt Bay. Which okay. one? Salt Bay. First of all, okay. why are we putting all the blame on Jay? It's not. It just is blame. It's not. There is. Um, it's she was hurt. also in a fragile state. He wasn't the only oh, one in the fragile. Fucking. I'm using she that. She too. was in pain. I'm fragile. She, but why can't you finish what I'm saying? I'm broke. Go ahead. But why can't you finish what I'm saying? It's a joke. It's a he, joke I let standard. him give me the whole sandwich. Let it's me put my motherfucking standard. salt. Do your thing. Thank you. So, <laughs> so she had an interview. Yeah. And, and Will also spoke on this in, in a separate interview and said she was crying every day yes. to the point he didn't even know how to console his yes. wife. She yes. was also fragile. So yes. August was not the only one in a That's fucked a up mental state. That's but a fact. So how do we know that That's he okay. was not the predator? Just because no, he's younger? No, no, no. There you go. Just because there he's go. younger? No, there you go. This nigga is a R.O. Hold on. I'm Preacher. not finished. I'm not finished. Preacher. I'm not finished. Mm. This nigga is an R&B singer. Know how to sing panties off. You think he know how to get Jay to slide that what? phone to the side? What? Come on now. Come on. I love Come on now. Shit I don't want nobody shit. but you. Is it? Yeah. Kissing on my tattoo. Word. I don't want nobody right, but me Ooh. until you fall asleep. Okay. Sure. Okay. What huh. you gonna do? I man? guess. I you need, guess. You need an agent? I mean, yes. what you gonna do? Yeah, uh, stream, stream my man. motherfucking single this show right now. Right here. Just get the contact. There she go. Bang, bang, bang. We keep it in the house. Let's go. You know what I mean? That's what it is, dog. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, um, mm -hmm. I know you, you were switching <laughs> gears on there. Is, is, is that, is, is you got another gear to go to? Nah, that's it. Oh, I'm okay. gonna take a sip. You know, it's okay. Let's switch, so, I'm gonna, I might be switching back, you know what I'm saying? Just because, that's you know, cool. this is important that, you know, we always have a good time, no advisor, but it's, it, you know, it's always like, uh, it's always a message. It's always some deep shit going on around. And um, yeah, we like good. to touch on that. So, you coming from the background you came from, you know, you mentioned it in, in, in an interview, I think maybe um, Big Three. You was I in Big Three a little bit? Big Three. You played with Season? Yeah, I played, yeah, it's, it's like summertime. Word. Yeah, Did was, you play with, with Iso Joe, by the way? No, 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 I played against him. I played with uh, Josh Smith that played for the Hawks. Yep, I knew some. Bynum. Okay. Wow. Played for the Pistons. Mm. You said Will Bynum? Yeah. Oh, that's your old homeboy from Georgia Tech? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what's yeah, up, that's what's up, that's what's up. Um, who, um... Okay, so this is the thing. You know that from your background, it was it was situation. It was you and your mom for the most part. I mean, you you know your dad, but you know what I'm saying it was you and your mom for the most part. Things got tough, as they all do for a lot of not 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 for everybody, but for a lot of your colleagues or former teammates. You know they come from backgrounds of struggle and strife and dire straits and all of that. S word. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> and so you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And so knowing that you come that. That is what forged you in fire to be prepared for the ascension that you had, the success you had. Now having four kids, how do you supplement that? Knowing that you've got the resources to provide yeah. for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and so so that they're not so, you know, they're not too soft Boy, and they yeah. ready to take that, that situation without you always being by their side. You know what I'm like a slam poet. How yeah. many kids? <laughs> <laughs> I had to reel it in. I had to throw it out. I had to reel it in. Make sure it ain't. Yeah. Yeah. You know how yeah. 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 you, you know how you feel me though, You feel me though, dog? You feel me? Open the door, close the door. I am confused. <laughs> 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 like, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but you feel me though? Yeah. How do you supplement that? Nah, for me, um, just keeping them 
around me a lot. Like my oldest son is seven. And, wow. and my daughter's 11. She live in Atlanta, but when she with me, like taking them to like grassroots places. Right. I, I take them to charity events when I go to West Boulevard. Yeah. Or when I'm in, you know, East Charlotte or North Charlotte, like places mm -hmm. where, you know, like Juneteenth, uh, my man Greg Jackson, Hill Charlotte, shout out to Greg. Yep. Hill Charlotte. He had, a, uh, he had the Juneteenth rally. Yep. So I took them to that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just like for them to see the real people, like, this is us, this is us having a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, four months ago. Yeah. Four or five yeah. months ago. Yeah. yeah. I need to talk about. No. It, it was, was a month. Hill Charlotte was last month. Hill Charlotte was like four or something. Nah, he, he do stuff. Okay. He got shit going like, okay. Oh, gotcha. oh, like periodic. It was like, last month. Yeah. I remember. But um, yeah, so I, I keep them around. Like, I tell them, like, you know, I bring my son to the to the hood when I'm yeah. in the pro am. Yeah, let them run around with them kids over there. Yep, and they rough them up. Yep, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yep, just keep them. You know, just making sure that they understand. Like noticing moments when I feel like you're getting a little bit cocky, or you're getting a little bit like, you know, uh, like right? Yeah, yeah, like you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just checking that shit on on site. Yeah, you know, let them know like, nah, it don't work like that. My no, daughter's the, yeah, my daughter's the only girl, so. You know, oh, she's spoiled, spoiled. Oh, yeah, so yeah. sometimes that entitlement yeah. shit when she was younger, yeah. Yeah. like now she's like, she understands it, you know what I'm saying? But just making sure that, you know, dad got you, but at the same time, you need to understand where I came from, what I had to do so that you wouldn't have to go through this. Mm -hmm. I mean, we was blessed enough to have it, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that is a that's shit. That's that's a real thing though. That's like yeah, ongoing. Dog. That ain't no like yeah, that, one yeah. conversation. Right. That's what I'm saying, dog. Because yeah. I got right. something. He's 16. Yeah. And he go to West Charlotte. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So he around nigga. You know they yeah. got. He like that. They got a trap bathroom. I'm yeah. like what? He's like yeah. They got bathroom that's just the trap. It's just for the trap. Like whatever drugs you want. Yeah. They be selling in there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And so he's like, you know what I'm saying? He like, I'm like, word. And he like, you know, he got the phone, he got the Instagram, you know, yeah. all the fights and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, all the fights and all that shit. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm like, yo, I come from, you know, like dire straight, single moms. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Moving around, mm -hmm. having to grow up a little bit early and being yeah. a man yeah. in your preteens. You know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. see that you start to realize the, 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 the work that she putting in, he like, oh, she doing all that? Well, right. let me help, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So you see that and you like, damn, cause you used to have to, yep. you, you would drop 30 and then go help her clean one of the one of the office buildings oh, after a game. y'all did some research. Oh, yo, tell me, yeah. I'm on my ass, I'm trying to be asked. I know what I'm talking about, B. I, I talk to the streets. That's you. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my ass, I'm clean, B. You know what I'm saying? Pull one more but they're like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like, yeah, you gotta yeah. supplement that. I, I'm trying to like figure out how, you know, like, it's like, okay, you go there, like, he, he kind of, he didn't been through some struggle and strike early on in life, too, you know what I yeah. mean? So, um, he got that, you know. Yeah. Now it's like, I'm to the point now where he's 16, 17, you know, he, he spent, we spent like about six, seven years down there in Florida. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I raised him in Florida be, right, right when he was like 10 years yeah. old. I, I talked to his mom and me taking him down there because I'm like, yo, them niggas grow big, yo. If, you, yeah. if I take him down there for a couple of years, he gonna be big, he gonna be fast. It's in the water. Yeah, it's in the water. I be trying to tell niggas, man. Texas it's and Florida. In the water. Texas and Florida, it's in the water. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, yo, and he did. And so he became outside linebacker or whatever, and he ready now, but he still needs some polish. And he kind of, to the point where he can be influenced either way yeah. when I'm not around. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, well, Charlotte might not be the rule. Yeah. So I need to talk to your mom, see what she wrote. The school yeah. board, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause I need to get him into one of them school yeah, I'm talking about, you know, with yeah. the opportunities because that <laughs> was the springboard. That's real talk. Hey, I'll tell you like this. Private schools, well, my school is, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. I love my school, I love Charlotte Latin, but it's other schools where it's really way easier to get in. Right, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, Maybe not Latin, Latin but like- the Latin, he, it's better. Don't get me wrong, it's yeah. gotten better over the years. Yeah. Like, they didn't know I was gonna be me when I got there. It wasn't like I was ranked and all that stuff. Right, right, right. Was, they let me in, you know right. what I'm saying? And, um, but like these other schools now, like, you know, I mean, it's a lot easier process than it was 15, 20 years ago. Right. So if you don't go for it, go for it. Go Latin's a great, great um, school too. I'm on the fence. Okay. And I'll tell you why. I feel you. About private because, schools? Yes, because um, throughout my years of the businesses I did in the hospital work in the emergency department, then also in the real estate um, aspect of it all is I know some of those um, doctors and those lawyers and those um, real estate agents' kids. Mm. They 
they get into where they, they have these drugs. parties they they have where they have they bowls too, full yeah. of drugs that's heavy very drugs. very harder than the aspect of you know the public school you know the yeah. weed or the the basic street drugs you're right but this is my thing is when your child is growing up they already have that character development they're already going to be who they are and when they make, you have to trust them to make those choices whether it's west charlotte or a private school mm -hmm. but it goes as far as education being the top priority and the importance and having first real ass conversations with and you. having yeah, real ass conversations it. because at the end of the day when they're like eight nine ten they already have that type of their characters are already molded already into them so when they go into the situations you gotta be prepared because some of those private school kids no, I'm, that's, are that's off the chain yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. and of that's course kids. they got white privilege to hold oh, them yeah. down oh, and yeah. money to hold them down and mm -hmm. get out of situations so which would not be privy to your child so you also have to be careful in that aspects of private school yeah that's i mean that's kids kids gonna be kids right mm -hmm. but it depends on what you're looking for out for your kid you know what I mean? But dog, I wanted to go to West Charlotte. Like, but but dog, when you but went, I know because you said because West Charlotte got right. that Carolina connect. We yeah, beat yeah, you. Know what I'm saying that's the only college I ever wanted to go to. Also, yeah. also, I also, I know that. I put that in the text. Then I put that in the text. Independent. Did I put that in the text? Let's go. Let's go. Big Eye. Big Eye. Independent. I saw that Big Eye, but I figured that Big Eye. Come on, I'm back on some throwback vibes. We used to beef with West Charlotte. Heavy. Heavy. Independent. Independent. The people West Charlotte. That was the best game. right? No. 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 Because it was black at Independent. Yes. All the best athletes. The teachers was white. Yeah, but it yeah. was black and independent, and those games, yeah. independence, yes, and, and West Charlotte and Independence and, and Butler, those yeah. games, yes. were, oh my yeah. god, yes, yes. Oh, legendary. My god. legendary. I remember, I seen. That's how you I know you from Charlotte. Yo, <laughs> that's I, how you know. Independence was that deal. I remember that specifically. Yes, we I play. used to follow. Come on, um, that big guy. We play. I went Woo. to see Independence play in the state championship against E. A. Laney. When they had Chris Lee. Yes, yeah. and we won. And we, we won. won. Yes, and we won. He had the prettiest motherfucking deep ball in yeah. world history. Yes. That shit yes. was he like. He was one of the best quarterbacks. What the fuck is that? We went to the league and fumbled. And fumbled. We went to the league and fumbled. I went to Beverly Woods with Chris. Huh? Yeah, I went to elementary school. Wow. That's a small world. Yeah, he was cold. Cold blood. blood. His brother was cold. CJ. Yeah, CJ Lee. CJ was. He went to Tennessee, then he went to Tennessee. Then he went to Florida. He went to Florida too. Chris went to Florida. Nah, CJ went to Wake Forest. Okay. And cause as my uh, I don't know y'all. Chris, Chris went to Florida. Chris went to Florida. Yeah, shit that came. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Why he love the white girls? Why girls? Why Chris? Oh, he got into a little bit of situation. He love white controversy. Girls. Come on now. I said, damn. Chris. That's 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 why you go to U F. Like that's no bunny central. Well, he Gainesville? got into no bunny trouble. No, Chris went to Florida. Yeah. He went to Florida. Gainesville, Gainesville, Gainesville Florida. Florida. I yeah. lived there. I was there yeah. when he was there. I'm, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm mm -hmm. connected. Before we get about it, like, can, we, can we get his Eastland Mall hat? Though? Oh, yeah. Oh, that shit lit. I've been so begging cool. to get hey. a t-shirt and a sweater with I that logo it. from it. them. So plug me in. Oh, that's, plug oh, me okay. in. I'll, I'll, I'll plug everybody. Okay. Plug me in. Oh, plug me my, in. This is my clothing line. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Oh. And you ain't your own style. us nothing. Your own, your own style, right? Your own sense of own style. Sense of style right? And you ain't bring us style. nothing. I got y'all. No, what what y'all need? That. I need that. I need, I need that. I want to wear that for the nineties party. So so for the nineties party, yeah. I want this. I want it's that. On, it's, it's it's on deck. It's okay. online. We got All you. Right. It's, All right. it's not. It's not. Uh, we done expensive. pumped you full of punch. We gotta get 30, some. 30, Thirty-five dollars. You know what I right. mean? All right. Like, I'm with it. And I got the Freedom Mall ones on deck too for my West. I saw the Freedom Mall. Even though Freedom Mall, yeah. yeah. I went to Freedom Mall for the big yeah. ass cookies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you come in to the lab. First grill. Yes. Yeah. my first grill. That's real Charlotte history, though. Real Charlotte. I support all my homies as that got clothing lines here in the city. And yeah. I was like, man, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta really do a strong line. My first one was just clothes. And then this is like Charlotte and like a, like a theme. You know what I mean? For and sure, for sure, for sure. Well, definitely support. Definitely for unfair sure. apparel. We always link yes, up with them, you mean? Yes, you got Kaya, man, man. you mean? Kaya, my guy. So that's that's a good, that's man, that's what's up, dog. That's, mm -hmm. It's good to see that, because we, we, you know, we've been doing this, whoo, baby, four, eight, you know, Four years in November, you know what Word. I'm saying? For me, you know what I mean? So just me alone. So I don't know, you know, man, you know what I mean? So it's just like yeah. um can't nobody it's a lot. Lot. It's, it's, it's a it's and a I'm lot. the newbie. Yeah, <laughs> man, for sure. <laughs> it, it, like it's a lot of people that 
that, you know, um, don't know like the subtle little things, you know what I'm saying, yeah. about Charlotte. Yeah. But one thing that everybody, we, we interview people over this whole span of time and one particular topic kept resurfacing, right? Mm. It was the fact that people in Charlotte don't support other people from Charlotte. Mm. Having been somebody that made it to the peak of your success, how do you feel that, that is that a real thing? Is that something, you know, it's folklore? The pressure? Nah, it's like, um, I talk about this all the time too. I wouldn't say it's not support. I just always felt like it was too many people doing the same things that wasn't yeah. connected. Right. So like, right. you may not have beat like, I like the fact that me and Kaya got a great relationship. Right. Like friendship, you know yes. what I'm saying? Like share ideas, all that. Yes. But when he puts something out, I do get motivated. Right. And when I put something out, he'll tell me he was motivated. And my man Three, I know Numero Three, the rapper. Mm -hmm. Three, yeah. with his for life. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. We all can sit together and talk about all that Like together. it's supposed to be. Yeah, it ain't like we separated. I always feel like, even with like philanthropy work, like foundation work, I'm like, you doing what I'm doing over here, we can do this together. Thanks. Right. Have a bigger yeah. impact. Right. Yeah. So I feel like it's getting better, but right. When I was playing, I wouldn't really see it. I would come home and do my thing with my foundation. Right. And I got to leave after three months, go back to play. Mm -hmm. So me being home for the last three years, I've been able to really see that. Yeah. And try to like, my goal is always to include other organizations or other co like other companies in that's black owned. Right. So we can form like a huge connection. I think it's gotten a whole lot better in the last like 15 years. Yeah, it definitely has. Yeah, yeah keep it, us in I've noticed We will that. definitely support you, yeah. do coverage, whatever yeah. you need to get out there. We'll definitely support you in that. Um, sure. I always believe in that old saying, you know, divided we fail, but together we're going to conquer. And I stand on that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, dog. Sure. I feel like we're we going to get better at that. So it's going to be good. Yo, that's that. You mentioned one one little last thing. You mentioned two cops got killed back in the day. There's some other. Uh, it did. This is some other. Boy, Come on, what's up? What's up? Now, what's up? Now I was a what's up? That, and I got. And what's up? Hold up. This shit came from me. Oh, I ain't talking about this shit. I ain't talking yet. He did his own research. I ain't talking to him yet. Oh, you did. Oh, it's all you. This me. Oh, I'm just saying. Before he do this no, though, he still do this you shit. And your, okay. yes, he just sir. saying he yeah. on his Antoine. He McClane. do this shit too. Antoine McClain. Yeah. 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 So you know, it's just one of them things. Like you know, what I'm saying that's old hush all the history. Two cops, they died. Like what? What street is the they name? Like what happened with that situation? Yeah. Milton Road. I was there. You was there. I was around that time. So Word. I want to hear your standpoint on that issue. That's old history. I know the truth. Ooh. See, I was young. Ooh. So I did. I don't know exactly what happened. I know. Mm -hmm. Two cops got killed and named two streets after them. Mm -hmm. But that was in like that was like ninety four. No, it was um in the early early two thousands. It was Somewhere the early two thousands right because I know we was in um kind of still in high school. What's the name of the streets that they named them after? Who oh, who cares? Because I know the truth. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you. Oh, this is some juicy. I know the truth. It's about to be some juicy shit. <laughs> that whole situation, there was already dirty cops. Oh. And they glorified that whole situation when it was already shaking down the community of that East Charlotte community, which is that Milton Road, that Sharon Amity, and that W.T. Yeah. Harris. Yeah. That whole entire square mm -hmm. that was there, their, um, the precinct, I think it was like Adam 17 or something like that was the name of that um, particular precinct. 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 But um, that particular cop, I know if anybody remember Huppin, was a, is a yeah, very popular Huppin. store that we all go to and sometimes we hang out, but they will always shake down, um, you know, petty criminals, if you want to call it, wow. and take money, drugs, um, hype out charges, plant um, certain situations yeah. on, and everybody glorify the situation like it's you know, oh my God, he killed the cops. No, that man was fighting for his life. Yeah, yeah. There was, it was gangs within the um, cop community. So that's my standpoint on that situation. So mm, that's deep. Nah, it's mm -hmm. real. It's that's real. real. A lot of people they, they don't really talk about. I talked to uh, uh, Gary McFadden, the head of the sheriff's department, about that a mm -hmm. long time ago. Before he was the head of the sheriff's department, right. we talked about that, and he was just like, "That was a different time." And I said, "Look, man, because." That was East Side. My grandma, right. I grew up a little bit in Hampshire Hills. Yeah, right down the street. that's right down the street. So that's that's, that's the whole area. You grew up everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah. Little Rock yeah. Apartments. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Uh, Lord, Holmes, Kings, Park. Kings Park. Mm -hmm. Kings Park. I live everywhere on the West Side, but my grandma, my my grandma lived in 
my dad's mom lived in they was from the east side, yeah. Mm-hmm. They lived over there. Gotcha. So I used to spend a lot of time over there in Hampshire. Hills. We used to walk to that store all the yeah. time. Right. Yeah, That's it was, my area. It was yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was um, you know, I talked to him and I was like, I told him, I said, look, he said, what you think about everything, you know. This is when Jan Roberts was the mayor. She had spoke at this thing and was giving out book bags. And I was like, look, man. It was a time where I knew the cops in my neighborhood. They looked like me. More of them looked like me. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, but more of them looked like me. And they knew that a same, the same tall 6'6 six, six kid with tattoos and shit that looks like me could be a killer. But he knew the difference between me and him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The cops, they start sitting down and don't know the difference. Right. Mm-hmm. And they don't look like this. Right. Mm-hmm. So I say, y'all got to do a better job. Of, of diversifying or the process in which who the fuck y'all bringing in here mm-hmm. to, to police the neighborhoods because they're not policing us. They're down here killing us and right. harassing That's us. That's and fact. getting paid to do it. Getting paid yeah. to do it. So yeah. I'm like, maybe I gotta do a better job. When they get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. That's some deep stuff. Deep Charlotte history here, man. So, dog, let's just give a round of applause for my yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yo, bro. I appreciate, appreciate you coming through, the time. Dog. It's COVID yeah. and everything. Thank you so yeah. much, sir. Awesome. Show love. Mask off, mask off. Oh day, man. That's how I know Future was a, uh, you know. A prophet? Yeah, okay. he's a prophet. Anyway, yeah, because he, he knew. That's all. He knew. So. He knew. Yeah, yeah. He knew. <laughs> anyway, bye for me, man. Yeah. Yo, oh, this boy. is that, this is that no advisory recharge, man. And I'm yes. going to pull the creative fact, told him with the scroll, I'm hit my mother elbow on my shit, I'm funny bone, hurt my ass, so damn. Funny. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> dog, you know what I'm saying? Just off the dome and shit, man. It's the boy right here and my girl right here. Who I'm Chocolate Diamond, also known as Shy, aka Charlotte's favorite BBW. And then yeah, we have so And then we got one time, <laughs> one time for P Fine. Make sure y'all streaming Jody. It's going Please. crazy, especially in Canada. Keep streaming that video drops July 23rd. All day, man. Anthony Morrow, no advisory. Bang. Bang. Yummy. Yeah,